25 year old admits his reckless driving led to the death of a Mason teenager and only WLWT was in the courtroom for today's plea deal. Now the crash happened almost a year ago at the intersection of Tylersville and Butler Warren. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson live for us in Westchester with the update tonight. Hi there Karen. Hey, sure, you know, this crash when it happened, it just broke so many hearts. It captured the attention of people in Mason, in Westchester and surrounding areas because not only was the victim a recent graduate of Mason High School, he had graduated just weeks before the crash, but he was also just two months away from becoming a dad. How do you plead to count two? Guilty. 25 year old Michael Andreca in a Butler County courtroom today where he pleaded guilty to one count of aggravated vehicular homicide. He admitted in June of last year he drove recklessly through the intersection of Tylersville Road and Butler Warren. By going through that intersection running a red light at a high rate of speed um, and did so while he uh, was on a suspended uh, license. Andreca slammed into another car driven by 18 year old Giant Waspy. Waspy died from his injuries. Prosecutors say Andreka's license was suspended from a previous OVI conviction. In exchange for today's plea, another aggravated vehicular homicide charge was dropped, as well as an OVI charge and driving under an OVI suspension. It was very hard for the family to sort of walk into court and see that he's sitting there and leaves with his family while their son is gone and they'll never see him back again. Jason Philobom is representing Waspy's family. He says they were on board with the plea deal, but come July when Andreka is sentenced. And they're going to be asking for justice, you know, because no matter whether he gets, you know, six, seven or eight years, they're going to be dealing with this for the rest of their life. Andreka faces up to eight years in prison. Waspy had just graduated from Mason High School and he and his girlfriend Kayla were two months away from being parents. Their son Toby was born in August. Having you know him sentenced on July 3rd will give them some closure, but even at that, you know he's going to be out before baby Toby's even 18 years old. And last week, Waspy's family did file a civil suit in this case. Philibom also tells me they are talking to legislators to get the law changed here in Ohio and make it where a suspect in a case like this would have to pay child support. Reporting live tonight in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen.